You started a business with a, with a dream. You started with a cause, a reason for being. If your cause was about making money, think again. Think again. Because yes, you want to make money, but that's the byproduct of its purpose. What is your purpose? Do you know that 70% of our conversation is a story? But they're there and we're not really making use of that tool. That is an incredible communication tool. Any story follows that structure, right? Character sets out to overcome an obstacle, doesn't necessarily overcome that obstacle, and that could be the interest of the story, but this whole purpose is to achieve some goal. What makes an interesting story is the way these elements work together. And, and, but what makes it interesting is our ability to identify with and empathize with the character. You see anything in common? Sales. Sales. People don't like to be sold. We like to buy, but we don't like to be sold. Here's an ad for a hospital that says, our physicians specialize in listening and caring. God, I hope so. <laughs> Why you do what you do is driving what you do. A lot of advertisers that I've worked with, a lot of clients that I've worked with, they start here. They start on the order later. So what makes your product different? It's like we were doing in that meeting. Well, you know, we're longer lasting, we're cheaper, we're faster, we jump higher, whatever. Uh-uh. No. Who are you is the more important question, and why are you what you are? It's called purpose-driven marketing. What we want is an authentic brand story. We want the real McCoy, who you really are. You know, when you're, when you're thinking about yourself, think in terms of a story character. If you were to write a story about who you are and what you're about, what would, you, what would that story entail? What is your purpose? <laughs>